Hey again, this is the kind kitten here. Hello! And I want to do a video showing off some of my building. Since the green server's currently down, I won't be able to do that, so I have to do this in the meantime. So I'm on Air Nico's server, and on his creative server, and I'm going through sort of like 10 small uh, dis uh, bookshelf designs. So these are all, you can all make these in vanilla apart from one where I've done like a little bit of world edit things to, but 9 out of 10 is legit. And if I can uh, make the other one legit, I will definitely try and do another video where I include that. So the thing about all these books, well, most of these bookshelves is they're indented, so a minimum you'd have to have walls that are about three thick. I could have just done them completely flat, but to be honest, they don't look as good that way. So the first one is um, you can make in vanilla. So you've got a little bit of string and you just put it up every so often. And let me get my speed down to one. And yeah, so then you put some carpet on top. And I'll just go in this mode so it's a bit easier to see. And uh, yeah, I made a little table here, just for, like some trap doors and a little plant. So that's one design, that's pretty simple. And all these uh, bookshelves I tried to make at least around 3x3 three three or smaller. So this one, again, could have made this go out by one or two, but I prefer the look of the indented one. So you can see I've just put two sort of separate ridges on. So you've got, if I go around the back, you'll be able to see completely what it looks like. So you've sort of got like two separate ridges on there. And this is just a staircase. You've also got um, a little bit of uh, hidden lighting on this one. So if you do want to light up the room and make a nice looking book uh, book bookshelf bookcase, this is a good option. I was just going to do the book uh, the bookcases on their own, but I wanted to do a little bit of extra because I like doing that kind of thing. So this one is uh, the third one, and you can see the bookcase is hidden in there. It's more of a, it's meant more for a, like a modern house. You can see you've got like the little TV there. And I made some sort of like plants around the edge. And I'm going around the back just so you can see. Well, I, missed a, I missed a little bit of a spot there, but. So all of these are a bit thicker than like just one block but yeah you'd probably have to make these like at least too thick to uh, not see anything on the other side uh, this is the one that requires world edit because to get the iron trap doors like this I had to add redstone blocks all the way up and oh, yeah, I got rid of it with world edit but if you do have world edit quite a little simple design this is what it looks like at the back quickly going on to the next one so all I've done for this one is this is one thick uh, that would be wood and you it just make instead of the bookshelf sort of being indented you can make the bookshelves come out and you use the spruce spruce uh, stairs and slabs you see I've just turned them different ways to so, uh, produce little shelves and you can also put trap doors on top but again you can have the wall completely flat and just the shelf coming out instead of uh, what I've done kind of like here where I've indented the bookcase and this is uh, one I made on a little disasters map I made you've got um, a little what's well, kind of a futuristic more well modern slash futuristic design um, if you wonder how I did this I just literally got the skeleton skull I put a end rod down I put a 
normal block down, I turned around this way and placed the skeleton skull, and so this could be done in survival. And then you place the end rod back and you've kind of got like a little modern light. I'll get rid of those. So uh, yeah, you need a little wall back here, but that could be one thick. So I'm going to do this again. And this one was if you sort of want a hid little bit of a hidden bookshelf. And again, this is uh, quite a small bookcase. And I put like a little potted plant. And again, you've got some hidden light in there. And I, I don't think I've seen one like this before. Because I sort of thought like a curved bookcase design, sort of like... Maybe like you have a chair in, but then I curved the bookcase around it. So it almost looks like a chair within a chair. And uh, and then you've got a little seat here or well walkway up it should be. But I just thought it was a little bit unique and I haven't really seen that design on YouTube anywhere. So you could sort of like imagine you're sitting here and you're like reading reading the books around you well, it's a little, little bit like a throne uh, here is a n another design quite straightforward as well um, not a big bookshelf so then you just put like I guess the trap doors could go all the way along the bottom and also unintentionally it does actually act like steps so it's sort of like a little step design and yeah again pretty straightforward to make i'll just go around this one just so you can see the curves again there you go because i'm not sure if i went around the back of that one so yeah, there's more of a curve on the front and this is the last one which uh, i have seen some places on youtube so what you do is you have a one thick wall you can see I've used sort of bone block on the bottom uh, and then you have the books again this would probably have to be a too thick wall unless you had it like on the inside I don't know of a cave or something and you got like a little plant pot up there which I've made uh, using the signs and the uh, trap doors and then you've got like a little well, a little bookshelf and a bigger one there. And I've put just a little plant on because I've seen on some bookshelves sh um, they have like little, well, you put, can imagine you like store things up there. So like if I had a custom player head or you could put like those at the top of the shelves as well. But um, that, so that's all my 10 designs for like small bookcases. And this is the kind kitten. And I'll see you all next time.